Hello and welcome to this IB Maths Intense session. Our first session uh, working in three-dimensional space as part of our Topic 3 Geometry and trig Trigonometry. And a nice uh, gentle introduction to just working um, with points in three dimensions. This is part of the um, standard level syllabus. There it is, uh, SL 3.1, the number of components in, uh, of that. And today we're just going to be looking at the first bit here, the distance between two points in three dimensional space and their midpoint. And it's a nice straightforward topic, so uh, hopefully won't tax us too much. So just um, uh, just a point really about how to think about three dimensional space. We're used to working in terms of um, having points in two dimensional space. So having a, an X and Y axis and having a point which we can uh, describe using a set of X, Y coordinates. Well, if we have a point in three dimensions, so if I draw this dot here on this particular graph, you'll see there are three axes now, X and Y, it is the two-dimensional plane. It's like the piece of paper that you can see in front of you. But then the z-axis is uh, any movement into the paper or out of the paper, so that that point is now sitting in three dimensions. And uh, it's very difficult to draw accurately three-dimensional graphs or, or charts. So um, we use uh, a set of three-dimensional coordinates to, um, to describe that. So in this case, this point, this blue point here, might have the coordinates where the x-coordinate is, uh, say, 5. Uh, the y-coordinate might be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, something like 9 or 10. And then the z-coordinate is how far it's going into the paper or out of the paper. And I like to think of going into the paper as the positive uh, values. So maybe this is going into the paper um, 3 units. So this could have the coordinate 5, 10, 3. Now, of course, you're not going to be able to tell those coordinates from the diagram because it's in uh, three dimensions. So you have to take the coordinates as accurate. Don't try and do accurate drawing or stuff like that. So uh, in three dimensional space, we will have a coordinate which is x, y, and z. But everything works in very much the same way as if we were working in two dimensional space. And I'll show you that now. So, for example, if we were looking at two dimensions, here's a, a, a line drawn on a graph that joins two points, A and B, with coordinates 2, 2 and 10, 7. If we wanted to find the midpoint of that uh, line, then there's the formula down there. This is actually on the IB formula sheet under prior knowledge. So you're expected to already have used this and known this. But all we do when we want to find a, a midpoint in two dimensions is we basically find the average of the two coordinates. So the X coordinate here is going to be, so our midpoint, the X coordinate will be 10 plus two, which are the two X coordinates divided by two. We're gonna find the average and the y coordinate 7 plus 2 over 2. And let's just work that through. We'll find that that gives 6 and 4.5. So the midpoint of that line segment is 6, 4.5. Well, when we work in three dimensions, nothing changes here at all. The only thing we've got to do here is take into account the fact that there's a third coordinate, which is our z coordinate. So here our midpoint would once again be just the averages of the three coordinates. So the x coordinate, 3 plus 9 over 2, the y coordinate, 9 plus 3 over 2, and the z coordinate this time, 1 plus 4 over 2. And uh, we'll work that through. That gives us 6, 6, and 2.5 and as our x, y, and z coordinates. It's exactly the same as if we were working in two dimensions, just find the average of the two uh, uh, coordinates to, to find the midpoint. What about if we're finding the distance between two points in two dimensions? Well, you'll remember from your Pythagoras work that you can find the, um, the distance between two points basically by using Pythagoras. So in this example, uh, distance between the two points would just be the square root of and again, here I'm using the formula that we're given on the formula sheet as assumed knowledge, prior knowledge. We're just finding the distance between the two uh, points um, by using Pythagoras. So here I'm going to do uh, the uh, difference di distance between the two uh, x coordinates is 6 minus 
2 squared plus, and then the on the y coordinates, 7 minus 2 all squared. Uh, and that comes to the square root of 16 plus 25 which is the square root of 41. And uh, the square root of 41 is around approximately 6.40 uh, to three significant figures. Now, when we work in three dimensions, we've got to think about there being a distance now, not just in two dimensions. So here, six minus two all squared and seven minus two all squared, but there's distance in a third dimension now, the Z dimension. So we're going to do exactly the same thing, but this time we're going to look at the distance in all three dimensions. So I'm going to go with the uh, x dimension, 3 minus 9 squared, and then in the y direction, 9 minus 3 squared, and in the z direction, 1 minus 4 all squared. This is just three-dimensional Pythagoras, if you like, um, thinking about the distance in three dimensions rather than just two. So that will give me again square root of 36 plus 36 plus 9, which is the square root of 81, which is a nice round number, which is 9. Nice and easy. So nothing majorly different than working in two dimensions. The formula is just an extension of that. And indeed, here are the uh, formulae uh, on the formula booklet under SL 3.1. The distance between two points x1, y1, z1 and x2, y2, z2 is given to us there as that formula. That's the one we just used. And then for the midpoint of a line segment in three dimensions, it's just the mean of each of the coordinates for x, y and z. And there it is given. So not very complicated. Um, Here's an example. You're given two coordinates, A and B, 1, 2, 3, and 11, 12, 13. Find the midpoint and distance. Nice and straightforward. Midpoint is just going to be the average of each of the coordinates. 1 plus 11 over 2, 2 plus 12 over 2, and 3 plus 13 over 2, which will give us 6, 7, and 8 as the coordinates, nice and straightforward. And then the distance between the, the points A and B is going to be the square root of, and this is going to be the uh, dis differences between the coordinates this time, 11 minus 1 squared plus 12 minus 2 squared plus 13 minus 3 all squared. That's three lots of 10 squared. It's the square root of 300 altogether which we know the square root of 100 is 10, so 10 root 3. And if you want that as an approximation, it's 17.3 to 3 significant figures. Nice and straightforward. Those formulae are on the formula sheet, uh, not too complicated to use. And in the next videos, we will just start to look at how we apply that principle, not just uh, in terms of graphs, but in terms of three-dimensional shapes, three-dimensional solids, um, and it's also a precursor to some work that you will see later on in the course when we come on to working in vectors, uh, which will work in a similar way. Anyway, hope you uh, found that useful. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, IB Maths Intense. Tell your friends I'm here, of course, and drop me an email at ibmathintense at gmail.com with any suggestions, any things you'd like me to cover, or any mistakes you've noticed in the work I've done. In the meantime, um, enjoy your maths and you take care.